Hey guys, it's me, Anaconda Squeeze. Yay, happy fun kid boys. I'm chilling here in Skyrim. More specifically, I am in solitude right now, just kind of wandering around, checking out everything here. As you guys can see, I've still got the Project Hippie mod on, so there's, there's trees every now and then, and everything just seems to be a little bit prettier. And you know, like, things look nice, and I'm really happy that they look this way, and it's really cool. But do you ever just want a whole bunch of trees to be around for no reason? Like, these ones are cool, but I feel like we need more trees. Like, so many more trees. And do you remember, like, way, way back in the day when we had that one video where they did White Run Supreme? Like, it was a pretty cool video. They put trees literally everywhere, and it was, like, stupid insane. And it was super cool, and everybody loved it. Well, that, except for that one guy who was like, I don't like boots, birch trees in the middle of White Run. Sorry, one guy. It's not, it's not my fault, but it's kind of something that happens. But yeah, like, it's, uh... It's not a bad thing. Something I enjoy here. I like having a lot of trees. I like when there's mods that make just the world look a little bit prettier. And you're probably wondering, hey, Squeeze, why the hell are you just wandering around looking at everything instead of doing your usual, like, hey, guys, I'm Anaconda Squeeze. Here comes this fun fucking mod. We're going to do this mod right now. It's going to be so cool. That's because I've been taking you on a tour of solitude. I just want your asses all the way around this city so that you could see everything so that when I leave and install the brand new Solitude fucking like crazy supreme mod you guys can see the comparison and be like oh my god Squeeze that was so genius you totally kept it interesting and fun and I was totally involved the whole time we were doing the boring tour so now when I slowly fade into the new mod it's gonna be amazing that is right guys, Takatus, the person who made the original White Run Supreme mod, has made a new mod specifically for Solitude. It looks super awesome, look at this, just right off the bat, just, oh, so many, you can tell, a million more trees. Now just like the last one, this one's compatible with both the Oblivion Gates and Cities mod, as well as Project Hippie, which, let's get serious, everybody loves Project Hippie, it is my like most watched video, I get the most comments about it, Project Hippie was a dope idea, and this one's a nice little add-on so far. I have not checked it out yet, so this is the first time seeing it. I have a little book here. Developer's Notes. Oh, this uh, better not be long. Great, thank you to everyone who downloaded the mod. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's how he was sick. YouTubers who want to showcase this mod, please note, I did more than just add trees. In fact, trees is what took the least amount of time for me to do. The interiors, like the wall and such, that took forever. So please, if you're going to do a mod showcase, at least show some of the interior things. Deal. Okay, Takatus have already said your name, so fucking check that one off. Woohoo! It doesn't take work to find your name. It's on the fucking mod page. It's literally, literally, it's like Solitude Supreme. Takatus. Takatus. There you go. You can be narcissistic all you want. Oh, look, and then it's on page three. Woohoo. Okay, I really, really enjoy his thank yous. His thank yous are like to essentially like what kept him going through the whole mod. So Mountain Dew and like music. It's hilarious. I'm totally loving it. It's so funny. Oh, he thanks to me? He thanked me. <sighs> to the users, please comment about any bugs, problems, blah, blah, blah. Last or not least, have a good day. Well, you have a good day, Takatoos. I'm going to take this book. I'm going to keep that book for me. That's my book now. All right. Wall. Wall? Wall? I don't know what wall he's talking about. But we're going to do our big tour of the city again because look how like, this looks so much cooler. I like this. Especially because Solitude's like kind of right beside that forest on the mountain. So like... I like that it has more trees. Oh, it looks like the wall has more, like, like ferns and shit. Like, moss and, like, ivy and stuff like that on it. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's continue on our, our walk here. We'll do a quick little look. There is some other stuff besides um, just the fucking trees that are in here. So we are going to have a quick look at it here. Let's go all the way around. This looks really nice. I enjoy how pretty this is. This looks way cool. Way cool, guys. This is totally gnarly. This is the sickest of this. This is so ill. Let's have a ooh, like this. I like this double tree walk through here kind of thing. Courtyard. What's going on? There's the angry guard. It definitely looks like there's more ivy. Maybe I'm just on crack. Maybe I'm just like a stupid forgetful person because I wasn't really looking for the wall stuff before when I did the comparison. But now I am. I keep trying to run like I'm an arc. I'm playing too much arc, getting too many dinosaurs. It's not my fault. 
nice trees. I like how this place isn't overall. Like it's a big. It's supposed to be a big open courtyard, and I like that that's still fairly open. Uh, if you just put a bunch of trees in there, it would have felt a little bit weird. It wouldn't really have fit, but I like that there's just a few around the outside, and the courtyard is, for the most part, still very open. Look at that. This is just so pretty. And once again, I like the fact that he's using different size trees. And look, he's not using birch trees, because I disagree with that person who was angry. The birch trees work really nicely in Whiterun. And as you can see, he didn't use birch trees here, because there's no birch trees nearby, but there's birch trees near Whiterun. Angry, angry man. This is like super duper overgrown. Like, look at the foliage in here. Ooh, ooh. Should we go in the? No, let's not go in there. All right. So there's two things we're gonna do. The first one, we're gonna wait, run all the way back here because we now have access to the well, same as we did in the White Run Supreme. Uh, I just walked by it. Can I remember where I put it? This way still. Let's have a run. I don't remember which way to go. <laughs> Damn it. I'm like lost. There's so many trees now, I have no idea where I'm going. I think it's right here. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's check out this well first thing. So we go to the stairs here? Uh, yes. The last time we went in one of his wells, there was evil stuff. So I'm ready. I am ready to go. Shing. Okay. Looking normal. What's this? Nothing. Some downed stuff over there. Hanging moss. Hanging moss. Oh, there's a lady. The Dark Brotherhood spokesperson. We get some gold. We get a scroll of dead zombie. The spokesman's letter. Let's have a peek here. If you're reading this, the Night Mother has taken me into her arms. This is my will. I'll be here in solitary to recruit members of the Dark Brotherhood. While I was trying to recruit members, suddenly an oblivion gate opened, and I'm hiding in this well from the monsters. I jumped in here, afraid maybe this is my punishment for the murder. I don't know, my te leg hurts from jumping down here, probably broken. Someone have to, about to put a ladder down to check. I hope, in case not. <laughs> I have my prize amulet on me. If you find it, please take it and join the Brotherhood. Aw, that's fun. That's kind of cool. I'm going to take your amulet, though, because fuck you. Ooh, that's not bad at all. So there we go. We have a cool little little side story here with this Dark Brotherhood spokesperson. Uh, is there anything else I'm missing? Because I hate missing something, because you guys are, like, the quickest of quick. It's like, I'll post a video and be like, you missed this one door in the corner. Which, honestly, I appreciate you guys doing it, because at the very least... Cover my ass for anyone else who wants to watch. <gasps> There's gold all down here because people throw it down the well. Oh, that's cool. I like that. All right, let's head back up here and see the next secret. Okay, so now that we're out of the well, we're going to head back to the Blue Palace because apparently there is a secret door that we have to find. Secret door. Secret door. All right, there's a secret room with a dark backstory, and we need to find it. And it's really hard, so be wary. The hint is we should check the courtyard of the Blue Palace. So we're going to go to the courtyard, which is this thing right here. Blue Palace, you can tell. There's a palace. has, like, blue roof stuff on it. So this is the courtyard. So we're going to work in a clockwise fashion. I'm going to go around the outside. Ah, boom. Look at that. Clockwise. I don't even have to, like, try to open that. I am the best. All right, mysterious hatch. Ooh, I feel like a spooky room. What's this? A burnt corpse. That's fun. With a ton of stuff on it. We're going to steal that. Uh, that seems like a lot of stuff for a burnt corpse to have, but I'm totally down. Is this... What is this? Like a sacrifice room? What's going on here? What's with the glowy evil skull? I'm... Am I missing something? I feel like I'm totally missing something. Oh, what the fuck? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hey, Hildegard. How are you doing? Alright, let's read Hildegard's note. My name is Hildegard. I'm a member of the Dark Brotherhood. I killed all of these people. They were not contracts. They were not people that were supposed to kill. I simply grew mad and common crowd. And try to clean up the herd. I know I wasn't supposed to do that, and the burden is overwhelming me. I can, can't continue living with the guilt of knowing that I destroyed these lives. I burned them. Night Mother said this. Please forgive me. Okay. So that's um, it's a kind of a morbid little side story there. At least we get some stuff from these people. Like that's kind of cool. 
that's um it's a little weird fucking okay <laughs> let's get this shit out of this murder room I think that's all there was alright so now that we have left Crumbopulous Michael in his evil room there um I think that's like kind of a weird story like I'm down that it has something else besides just this but it's a little freaking weird um but back to like how like I love the fact I like this I enjoy the supreme mod um I really like white runs I like this one I like that it's not the same I like that we actually get just strictly conifers pretty much here whereas in white run we had like the deciduous trees like the birch trees and all that stuff like I do like that I know that there's some people who don't and they bother me but whatever these are really nice. I like how this mod was done. This is a great mod, Takatus. I'm like really enjoying that you are doing more of these. So keep it up. I would definitely like to see more Supreme Overhaul mods. Like these are super cool. I will definitely get the rest of them going here once you get those going. So this is awesome. I will be including the mod link in the description below. So make sure you guys check it out. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Because I like it when you do that kind of stuff. Gives me a little tingle down under. But yeah, guys, I'm Anaconda Squeeze, and I will see you fucking later. Bye.